Hi, I'm Erica. This is my husband, Kevin. We moved in here seven years ago. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. In the woods. At the time, we had three small kids, and now we have three big kids. We also have a rabbit, two gerbils, a rat, two dogs, and some chickens. Three, three chickens. And it gets overwhelming in this house, especially in our kitchen area. It's tiny. It's, we are here in the kitchen. It's the heart of the home. And everybody is on top of each other. It's not a terrible size kitchen. No, it's a good size. I can see that. And on top of it, our room, it's very sad to me. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, that's, I would hate to go into that as my bedroom. We did not use that space in there well. So just to have a room that we could call our own, that would be amazing. It's got <laughs> a smaller closet than uh, two adults should have. Also, the bathroom that's ours is small. Oh. We inherited all the furniture. That has kind of made it hard to fit pieces together or come up with a, a, a plan on how the house is supposed to flow. It would be just so much better to have a kind of style. I, I don't have a design gene, so we need help <laughs> with an overall idea of what the place is supposed to be. We need help. Oh, they seem really fun. Yeah, they seem cute. What do you think the biggest challenge they have here is? None of the spaces look like they're functioning very well. I think the kitchen is a problem. I mean, the space is great, as you said. I think it just needs to be redone and rejigged and use the space properly. And it's a really nice budget, $100,000. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I'll call you and let you know what the story is. Sounds good. See ya. Bye. <laughs> They're friendly. Hey, guys. Hi. Oh, yes. All right, so let's go here. Absolutely. <laughs> this used to be the kids' room, basically. We had a ton of toys in here, and we've kind of tried to reclaim it ourselves by redoing the basement. Do you actually sit in here? We don't. No. <laughs> Perfect. I think you have a lot of inherited furniture? Is that what's going on? Or did you just go to yard sales and pick things up randomly? Absolutely or... inherited a lot of this furniture. In fact, we call our style. Dead relative? Oh, dead relative. Yes. I think that's a whole new design category that we can start a whole trend. <laughs> OK, this is not just about design. My challenge here is getting them to understand they need to break their habits and move on. Let's go see the rest of the house. Perfect. So obviously this is our kitchen and this is a huge pain point of the house. So let me just picture this. So dinner's ready, they all fly in. They fight who gets to sit next to mom at dinner. And then the losers usually kick the winner underneath the table for That's the rest fair. of dinner. That's fair. Yeah. And where are the dogs during all this? Underneath Under the, the table, table. waiting for scraps. Yep. OK, so it's not a great kitchen on any level, got to admit. How do you envision living in here? It would be right. wonderful to bring friends in here and to have dinner parties. I mean, we've never had a large dinner party just because of the restrictions of flow and having everybody in this one space. I can see you have a dining room here. What's wrong with this? If I'm entertaining guests here, then I'm going to be stuck in the kitchen and everybody's going to have fun out here without me. It doesn't work for you and it's not really the way we live today. We'll right. get down to design and you can make decisions accordingly. Absolutely. Okay. We just wanted to show you our children's rooms. This is sure. Trey's room. It's lovely. Yeah. Mary's room. It's sweet. This is the kids' bathroom. I really don't know where to start with this. All three of them can't come in at the same time, obviously, to brush their teeth, which Why is... Why not? Because they fight over the sink. I mean, the fact that the kids can't actually brush their teeth at the same time is just not something I would consider a big problem. But still, I have a solution. So this is a huge bedroom. I think that we are very inefficient in the way that we use the space. We'll work on that. And this is what we need to look at because you would like a tub in your house. 
This is the primary bath and it's small. It's funny how people used to live, isn't it? They dedicate this massive space to the sleeping area mm -hmm. and then these pokey little bathrooms. The problem, even trying to expand this, is you've got stairs, a hallway. There's only so much that you can do in here. In terms of lifestyle, you should be connecting the kitchen and the dining area. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back to um, my studio, start working on a layout, and um, we'll re-meet and see where we are on that. See you Thank soon. Thank you so much. All right. All right. <laughs> hey. Hello. I want to talk through a fantastic design solution to your house. Are you ready? I'm yes. so excited, yes. Okay, this is a big difference to what you had, so. So this is just a really old-fashioned layout kitchen that's too small, and a dining room that you simply never use. Right away, I'll take down that wall between these two rooms and create an open concept cooking and dining area. The kitchen will get a complete makeover with brand new cabinets, appliances, and a gorgeous island. Lastly, to bring in more natural light, I'm going to add two windows next to the existing one. Then we have the dead relatives room. Small changes can make a really big impact. Rearranging the furniture and adding some personal touches will go a long way in making it feel like a completely new and welcoming space where you may actually want to hang out. So this will become a room that is still giving you the memories that you want, but it won't feel staid and stuffy. We don't want that to happen. That sounds wonderful. Fantastic. Okay, so we're good. We don't have the money for a big upgrade in the kids' bathroom, but I've come up with an easy and cost-effective solution that will solve all of the issues. I'm going to install an elongated trough sink and three faucets, so no more fighting over who brushes their teeth. Then I'll reglaze your tiles, giving them a fresh new look that's more affordable than replacing them. That's, that's a great idea. idea. Good, we're done. Now that Kevin and Erica have signed off on the design plans, I'm going to meet with contractor Chris and just make sure that we're ready for demolition. Hey. Hey. How are you? Doing good. So the concept is to just completely blow out this kitchen, blow out this wall to put three windows in here, and then this wall too, completely gone. I'm going to be giving them a great big island in here. This is going to be a good change. Yeah, it yeah. really is. OK, so this is the room where the children were complaining about having to share a sink to brush their teeth. My solution is five feet, elongated sink, and then three separate sets of faucets. Okay, got it. Okay, good. Into the main bedroom. I want to demolish this wall completely, and they're gonna end up with this fantastic, grown-up, dreamy bathroom. Did you see any issues? Until we open up the walls, we don't know what's there. Right, got it, okay, all right. Hey! Well, you were really focused on something. What were you doing? Yeah, so I'm glad you could make it because we have a little bit of an issue. It's not going to affect my budget. It, it could slightly impact the budget. There's a little bit more in this wall than we uh, originally thought. So we knew that there was a supply and a return on each side. What we didn't account for was this additional supply and return right here in the center. The problem is always a collision between design and function in a house. Essential is heating and cooling, so I have to have the registers in exactly the right spot to bring in the heat and or cool air, and the fresh air returns are constantly bringing in air from the outside to keep the house healthy. And if they're not moved, they're not gonna work. We're gonna have to order a special beam. It'll support the load overhead, and it'll still allow us the extra space that we need. Really, I only care about a couple of things. First of all, my design does not get compromised. That will not be. So I'll put that finger down and I'll bring it up again. Next thing is, it's not going to affect my budget. We're talking a matter of a few hundred dollars at most. That should be able to be absorbed Absolutely. with the contingency. Okay, so the finger's gone back down. Timing. It could take up to a week. But can you keep going while you're waiting? We should be fine with that. Okay, yeah. was that it? Yeah, that's it for down here. Oh, for down here? Yes. Why? We do have an issue upstairs with the uh, load-bearing wall. Where is our load-bearing? So the, the ceiling joists are all sitting right on top of this wall. If this wall were to be removed, your bedroom ceiling and your closet ceiling would literally just fold in on itself. 
Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm glad that that didn't happen. You're going to pick up some load here. Yes, this will stabilize the bedroom ceiling. We're also going to have the, uh, a wall in the back of the bathroom for the toilet. That'll help to carry some of the load as well. Great, okay, good. So I knew from the start that that wall downstairs being removed wasn't an issue, but every home has its curveballs. Good to go. Good to go, I love it, thank you. Thanks. Kitchen tiles are up, appliances are being installed, and our team is working around the clock to make up for lost time and be ready for the reveal. Oh my gosh! You ready? I'm so yes. ready. Oh, oh my gosh! Just walking in and seeing this gorgeous space is, it's a dream. So now to me, this is an absolutely beautiful room because it's not overly formal. Part of it is the light fixtures. The chairs make it more casual. The table is very classic. It's oh my our, gosh. It's our table. It is our table. It looks nice now. <laughs> it's a really nice eclectic room, which is really, I think, what we all love here. It looks bigger. It looks a lot bigger. Of course it does. We don't have cabinets holding things in here anymore. We do not. We're no longer going to be a dumping ground. <laughs> so here's the other thing. The table running this way allows it to be fully open. It doesn't take up as much space visually. I love it. And the main thing is well, the natural light that comes through these windows transferring into the kitchen with the natural light that comes through those windows is just incredible to me. All right, now we're off to the um, DR room. Okay. This is gorgeous. Is that the same it's, chair? This is all your original furniture with new upholstery. This is mind blowing. This doesn't even look like the same house. I, I love got the this. recliner. Yes, you did. <laughs> of course you did. These are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's reversed. <laughs> it is. I mean, this is incredible. So we've got a sitting area and a cool lamp. It's the lamp! <laughs> I love it. It works so nicely up here. This is so neat. Oh, my wow. God. Ah! <laughs> the duck. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Oh, <gasps> two sinks, Kev. This is mine. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh wow. One, two, three. Clean your teeth with your own yes. faucet. That's awesome. So, you know, we didn't have a lot of money to do this bathroom. It really all went into yours. Good. <laughs> okay, but I really wanted to be able to solve this issue. And I think it works. It's unusual. It's also not breaking the bank. Right. But then there was all that tile and that yellow and that ugh. So all we've done is reglaze and then gone over the tiles with this LVT. Perfect so solution. That's it. it and it didn't break the bank and it's given you what you wanted. This is really nice. So this is all about your family, this place being filled with children, their friends, your friends. It's going to work so well, which is really what makes a home a home as opposed to just a beautiful space. I could see some grandkids having Christmas morning here. Let's not jump ahead of ourselves, though. <laughs> OK, guys, enjoy your home. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Pleasure.